Good afternoon. We are live here from West Valley Central School in our auditorium for our first graders 100 day, 100th day of school project. So we're going to take a little tour around our projects today, interview some of our students and see what amazing work they have done. And our first student here is Mr. Levi. Mr. Levi, how are you doing today? Good. So can you tell us a little bit about your 100 day project? Made out of googly eyes. Googly eyes? Well, that's a lot of eyeballs there. So that means somebody's always watching you? Yes. Well, that's very good. What was the best part about your project? What did you have the most fun with? Um, the outside. Coloring the outside? Well, Levi, I, I love your shirt. I'd like to see you wear it to school one day, maybe on the 200th day. All right, sounds good, Levi. Good job. All right, we're going to travel down here to our next student. I see that this is Mr. Riley. As you can see, Mr. Riley here seems to have done his project around the theme of fish. Is that true? Yes. What kind of fish do you have here, Riley? Goldfish. Goldfish. Now, are you planning to eat these later or, or no? No. Why not? Because these are the ones that are not—they're not good. Is that because they're in the still in the fish tank, or because they have glue on them? Because they're salt. Okay, okay. So, what was the best part of your project? What did you enjoy the most? Painting. You enjoyed the painting. Awesome. And it seems like your fish are in uh, swimming in schools. Like, how did you group all your fish? Intense. Group them in tents. Levi, excellent job. Thanks for all your hard work. We're looking forward to some more school days. We'll see you later. And now we have Mr. Zach. How are we doing? Good. Tell us how you're doing. Good. Tell us a little bit about your 100 day project. What did you create your 100 day project using? Legos. Why did you choose Legos? Because it was easy. <laughs> now, why was it easy to build though? Do you play with Legos? Yes. So you already know how to build with Legos? Yes. Awesome. So what was the most fun thing about your project? Building. Building them and putting them together? Yes. Zach, thank you so much for your project and all your efforts. I'm a Lego man too. We'll talk to you later. We have someone over here, very special, very special. This is Miss Allison, who I like to call Allie, but she doesn't like Allie. She likes Allison, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Allie, Allison, mm -hmm. tell, us, <laughs> tell us about your 100 day project. I made mine out of Skittles. Skittles. So were these the normal Skittles, the tropical Skittles? What kind? The candy ones. The candy ones? Oh, so the traditional ones. The ones in the red pack? Uh-huh. And the ones in the red pack. What did you like most about your 100-day project? What was most? What was most fun? Drawing the flowers? Uh-huh. Okay, so now how did you group all this? By tens, I think. By tens. Wow. Awesome. So how much, how many of the Skittles did you eat before gluing them on? A billion. A billion, awesome. Allie, great job. Thank you for your work. Huh, I think we have someone else here. Yeah, we they seem to be hiding. Oh! Now, this is Miss Gabby. Gabby, how are we doing today? We're on TV, we're live. We're broadcasting from West Valley. Yeah. You're doing good. So, I, I'm looking at this and I'm not sure what this is. What can you tell me? It's a gumball machine with pom poms in it. Oh, and the pom poms. What do what do the pom poms represent? Gumballs. Mmm. So, what was your favorite part of your project? The gumballs. Oh, gluing the gumballs on. Now I see all the different colors. Do they have the same amount? Really cool. Is there the same amount of red and blue and green, or are there some different? I don't. Okay. So my biggest question, Gabby, is where's the five cents or the nickel that I can put in to get a gumball? Well, can I have a nickel? 
Well, then how am I going to get a gumball? You need to get him. <laughs> Good work, Gabby. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. That was tough. <laughs> Mine was hiding in the under the table. He just doesn't want to fire. Wow. Layla, come on up here, Layla. Layla, I got to tell you, this is a very sparkly project. And I'm very interested to hear what your project is all about. Tell me. Bows? How did you come up with wanting to do bows? Because they're shiny. Because they're shiny? Now, do you wear bows in your hair? Yes. Should we try 100 bows in your hair? No. No. Why not? Uh, you don't need, well you have a hundred bows here, so but they're glued on. They're glued on. So look, you have some different numbers here. Tell me about your different numbers. I see tens and fives. What's going on with that? So how did you group your bows? And what what, what groups did you use? Fives and what else? And tens. And I see one other number that I see you use down there too. What number is that? 20. 20. So you use a combination of all of these different numbers to come up with 100 bows. What was your favorite part of your project? Drawing the trees. Layla, again, beautiful project, very shiny. I love it. Thank you for all your hard work. Hello, Mr. Amadeo. Hi, and good afternoon to Dr. Farrar. She is also coming around, circulating, seeing our students' 100-day project. What's your favorite part of this uh, experience so far, Dr. Farrar? The creativity. I love how much um, thought that the kids put into it, coming up with different ways to represent 100 days. I would agree. I would agree. Uh, I, my favorite part is kind of seeing all of the candy and the snacks, but that's getting me a little bit hungry, so we're going to have to put that to the side for right now. Wonderful. <laughs> Kenzie, this is Miss Kenzie. Kenzie, I am seeing this huge poster board. And um, you know what? Can you crawl under this table and come over here so we can get you? There we go. So, Kenzie, tell me about your project. Um, it has a lot of um, holiday and movie stickers on it. A lot of holiday and movie stickers. So, and how did you group your stickers? And how did you do that? By tens. You group by tens? Now, is there a favorite sticker that you have? Yes. The Wonder Woman ones from Santa. Oh, so you love those ones because they're from Santa or because it's Wonder Woman? Because it's Wonder Woman. Oh, okay. So Wonder Woman is your favorite superhero? Yes. And you like stickers in general? Yes. Kenzie, I think you did a wonderful job here. Thank you so much. See ya. All right. Next up, we have Miss Taryn. Miss Taryn, how are we doing today? So, I'm curious, you have a book here. Does this mean I have to read 100 pages? Yes. I have to read 100 pages? Yes. Taryn? You just look at it. I can just look at it? So yeah, I can just open it. Oh, okay, so, whoa, whoa, look at all this glitter and sparkle. Taryn, what made, how'd you come up with this idea? My mom made it up. I made the hearts. You made the hearts, and, and what else did mom you do? Mom helped me. But did you do some of the gluing, too? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. This was my heart, and this was Mommy's heart, and this is Mommy's heart, and this is Mommy's heart, and this is my heart. Awesome. I like this heart. You like this one the best? Why is that? Because it has a crown on it. Oh, I see you're wearing a crown too because you're 100 days smarter. So this one is all fruit. Hmm. What's your favorite fruit? Oranges and apples? Oh, very nice. Very nice. Karen, this looks like an amazing art project. And it looks like you're grouping yours by what? How'd you group yours? By tens. By tens. Oh, and here we have a sea theme. Who's this? Mermaid. Mermaid, okay. Okay. Wow, oh, and the snowman? Is this Frosty? 
That's frosty, okay. And the owls? Wow. Karen, what does this say? This is just square letters. Okay. This is fancy. This just says my name. So Taryn and then these letters. Very good. So you got and these letters here and, and these 100. are fancy. And 100. Taryn, this is amazing. I love it. And I see you did some even some extra. So now we're getting to 120 days. And we're getting to 150 days. And we're at the end. You did extra. Awesome. Thank you, Taryn. We'll see you a little bit later. I see that. Yeah. Well, well, well. Now we have Miss Mila, who I have to admit, I saw a sneak preview of this project a couple days ago when we were in the cafeteria. Mila kind of gave me a preview, but Mila, can you tell us a little bit more about your project? So uh, I have a lot of different kind of stuff on it. Uh -huh. There's photos, magnets, popsicle sticks, can tabs, and crayons. Awesome. So what was the favorite part of your project? Um, putting on the pictures. Okay, now here, come on down here. So you, you got these pictures. Now, you told me a little bit something about these pictures. How these pictures happen? Um, by my camera. Who took the pictures? Me. With I your camera? Mm-hmm. And then you made, you, you developed them? Yep. Awesome. We, we're just gonna rip them back out and then put them back in my memory book. Back in your memory book? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, are these pictures all from this year? Uh, no, they're from last year at my old house. Oh, okay. So how did you kind of group all this? Uh, we grouped them by 20s. Oh, so you went by 20s. Is that so you could get to 100 faster? Yeah. Okay. Mila, great job. I love seeing your project again for like the second time. It still feels great and still looks great. Keep it up. Aubrey. How are we doing today, Aubrey? Miss Aubrey? So, I love your project, but I need you to help me out and tell me a little bit more. So what, what what did you use for your project? Um, glitter, glitter heart stickers. And did you want to do different colors or no? No, I did it, but mommy just came up. Oh, she helped you with the different colors. Okay, so you didn't group yours. So how many hearts do you have here? Um, I think one hundred. And that's because why? What's today? One hundred. The 100th day of school. I think you know what my favorite part of your project is? Your picture. Looks like you're blowing all these hearts. Who are you blowing those hearts to? No one. No one special? Mm -hmm. Not Mr. Amadeo? Not Mrs. Klaus? No. Not your mom? Yes. Okay. What about what about Brother King? Yes. Okay. All right. Aubrey, great job. Thank you. All right. So next up, we have Mr. Emmett. Mr. Emmett. How are we doing today? Good. Good. So, look, you have a lot of stuff here. I'm uh, kind of wondering, what was your project all about? Stickers. Stickers. Why did you choose stickers? Because you have a lot. Because you have a lot. Is there a sticker that's your favorite? I, I bet you I, get, I can guess. This row. Yeah. What, what's this row of stickers? Minecraft. Minecraft. Is that a game that you like to play? Yeah. I have a lot of the games I like to play. Is Minecraft your favorite? Yeah. All right. So, how did you group all your stickers? Uh, we just had a bunch of stickers and I just took them all random ones. Right. And then did you count them by? Well, how did you count them by? What Ten. You, you counted by tens? Awesome. Emma, I'm really loving your project too. Um, I think my favorite sticker, you know, I think I might have to go with the Paw Patrol. Is that, is that okay if I go with Paw Patrol? Yeah, sure. All right, that's okay? Yeah. All right, I'm in. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Timmy. How are you doing? We're here with Mr. Yeah. Timmy and his 100-day project. Timmy, did you have fun doing your project? Mm -hmm. What was the most fun about your project? What did you like the most? I like doing a gift button and put in one of the orange button on it. 
Oh, so you like to stack the buttons. Onto a button? Yes, yes. Um, yeah. and, and look, I also see, oh, let me see here. What do you got here? Wow. So you have the, the lions and you have some giraffes and some zebras on and here? And they got four marble life cycle. The life, yeah, that's the life cycle of the lion? Mm -hmm. Very good work. And Well, this is your project, right? Oh, the cardboard? What is it called again? Just a, oh, it's called multi-sensory Oh, the multi Oh, nice. Hey, you know what else I like, Timmy, about your project? I like how you did different things in each one, and I also like your shapes. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite shape? Or how about this? What's your favorite color? Purple. Purple? Purple. Purple. I think your favorite color is purple because that's our school colors, yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Oh, my beautiful Yeah, there's many colors. You almost have the whole rainbow here, Timmy. Timmy, great job on your project. Thank you for all your work. Yeah. And finally... <laughs> We have Mr. Philip here with his 100 day project. I'm sorry, we don't, this is not our last one. We have one more after Mr. Philip. Mr. Philip, can you tell us about your 100 day project? It's made of sheep and it's, yeah, it's counting by tens. Made out of shapes and counting by tens. But I noticed something else about these shapes. Are they all, you know, what else do I notice? What else can you tell me? There's different shapes. There's different shapes with different what? Numbers. Numbers and? Well, you have you have what color is this here? Yellow. What color you got here? Red. Yeah, and here? Green. So you have a lot of different colors, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. So I see you counted by tons. Do you have a favorite shape? Um, I like a diamond. You like a diamond? Is that because diamonds are worth a lot of money? Okay, me too. I like them too. I just don't like to buy them, but I would definitely sell them. All right, Philip. Great job. Thank you. All right, we're coming back over to Mr. Finley. You know, again, this is our last one that we have today. And as I said earlier, we see a lot of candy and snacks. It's making me very hungry. Even though I ate lunch today, I, I like my sweets. So, Finley, tell us a little bit about your project. Um, I put them in the groups of five, and I made them in stars. Groups of five and stars. So what made you pick, uh, what are these here? Jelly beans. Jelly beans. I knew it was a candy. I wasn't sure. What made you pick jelly beans? Um, I love the eat them. And it's super good to have them at the house. You love to eat jelly beans and super good. But but Finley, if you glued all these jelly beans on your poster, how are you going to eat them? Uh, try to wipe all the glue <laughs> That would be a good attempt, but I would not recommend wiping any of the glue off your jelly beans and eating them. Please do not do this at home. Finley, I love your groups of fives. You did a lot of hard work here. And uh, I love your choice of candy too. Great job, bud. Thank you so much. Well, that concludes our interviews for our, our first graders, 100 day products here at West Valley Central School. We're looking forward to the rest of the school year and all the great work that our first graders and all our other students are gonna do this year. Thank you and signing off, Mr. Amadeo from West Valley Central School. Take care.